So we have here a second order homogeneous ODE. There's no initial values, so uh, that's going to make our lives nice and easy. So let's, uh, let's set up the characteristic equation. Uh, we're going to take the coefficients of each of these terms and multiply them by the appropriate lambda. So we're going to have 1 times lambda squared minus 2 lambda plus 10 equals 0. All right, so there's not a very easy factorization of this. So to find the roots, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So that's going to end up looking like lambda equals 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 40 uh, over 2. And if you just plug that into a calculator or do out the arithmetic a little bit, which I'm not going to do, I really hate arithmetic. Uh, that's going to be 1 plus or minus 3i. All right, so now we're going to remember that our general form for complex roots is going, uh, solution, general form of solution for complex roots is going to look like y of t equals c1 with a t cosine b t plus sine version and that uh, those a and those b terms are going to come from uh, a complex number which looks like a plus or minus b i so we definitely have that right here so we're going to go ahead and plug in 1 for a 3 for b to get a solution which, uh, sorry, a little mental lapse there, a solution which looks like uh, C1 e to the t cosine of 3t plus C2 e to the t sine of 3t. And again, since there's no initial values, we are done. So, booyah for, uh, for that. There's the solution.